Hello everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode of my Pokemon Platinum Let's Play. I am Magnificent Entertainer Bulbagarden Forum's Head Administrator, and in the last episode we captured the legendary Pokemon Palkia. In this episode we're back here in the battleground because I do have one more stat trainer to battle, but I also did a bit of resetting so that I could get these particular conditions. I mentioned earlier that both Rourke and Byron have unique texts that they say if they're in the battleground with each other. So, let's start talking to Byron. You do have to beat them, by the way, so I battle them all again. Uh, well, okay, I battled Byron, Rourke, and Fantina again. That Rourke thinks he can show up his old man? My act needs polishing still, I fear. Ah, it's you. Don't mind me. Make yourself at home. And Rourke says... When I became a gym leader, I finally realized how great my dad is. Not that I'd ever admit that to him, of course. So yeah, just a little bit of extra text that they have if they're in the battleground together. Nothing too special, but, you know, figured I'd show that anyway. Uh, before I battle with Marley, I do want to also show my team. So you can see we're all level 73, except for Grim, who's level 74. I believe Splurb and Porygon are close to leveling up, uh, but that's pretty much all I wanted to show. Unfortunately, that does mean that Marley isn't going to be as much of a challenge as the previous trainers were, but I still want to show this battle. So, oh, a battle with me? Well, I'm me, so yes, technically that is true. Okay, I won't lose. If you say so, Marley. If you say so. Marley over here starts out with a level 61 Ninjask with Swords Dance, Aerial Ace, X-Scissor, and Slash, and the Speed Boost ability. Marley's thing here is, of course, Speed. Um, this Ninjask, if it gets off a Swords Dance and a Speed Boost or two, will be pretty powerful and fairly unstoppable. Uh, luckily, I do have Punguin, so... Uh, hopefully the Ninjask won't be pun-stoppable. And you can see swords, sword stance right off the bat, uh, which of course is the smart move, but also has like no defense, so... <laughs> oh well. Alright, Electrode is coming out next, no surprises there. Electrode here, level 61, with the moves Double Team, Thunder Wave, Thunder and Hyper Beam, and the Soundproof ability. Double Team user, I hate Double Team, everyone hates Double Team, but that's one of her main gimmicks on this Pokémon, and at least one of her others. Luckily, Surf Hit, which is good because... Everyone knows that as soon as their evasion is raised once, your 100% accurate moves, or your formerly 100% accurate moves, suddenly start being only about 2% accurate. Anyway, she's sending out her Arcanine next. Arcanine here is her ace Pokémon, level 65, holding a Citrus Berry. You can see that Intimidate ability. Uh, moves Flare Blitz, Extreme Speed, Thunder Fang, and Crunch. Uh, probably going for the Flare Blitz, to be honest, because that's going to do neutral damage. Let's see. Yep, there's the Flare Blitz. I'll try a Surf anyway, but we'll see what happens. There we go. And Arcanine got hit by Recoil. I should be able to take this out with relative ease. Down goes Arcanine. Alright, almost level up. Crobat is her next Pokémon. Level 62. This is her other Double Team user. Double Team Confuse Ray, Air Slash, and Poison Fang, and the Inner Focus ability. She's probably go. I mean... Air Slash and po Poison Fang will literally do nothing, so I'm guessing she's going for the Double Team. Yes. Makes perfect sense, and I don't know why she'd ever do otherwise. Luckily again, that Ice Beam hit. And again, I am sorry that this battle isn't exactly as tough 
as the other battles that I've had in the battleground. It's just kind of how timing worked out, and I've been doing a little bit of off-screen training in between episodes. Punwin grows to level 74. Well deserved, my friend. Um, and I did want to at least show this battle, even if it wasn't going to be as tense as the other battles. Alright, Weavile here. Level 63 with the moves Ice Punch, Aerial Ace, Night Slash, and Ice Shard, and the Pressure ability. Uh, Aqua Jet. Want to at least get a little bit of chip damage in, because I bet you that Night Slash is going to be enough to do me in. Well, okay, maybe that Life Orb combined with Night Slash, but still. Oh, critical hit. So, there goes Punguin, but... Punguin did a heck of a lot here, so I'm not complaining. And Juniper's gonna finish things up for us. Although, Aerial Ace will probably hurt. Oh well. Close combat. Uh, Aerial Ace. That will hurt, but I don't think it should KO. Probably. Yeah. And this is her last Pokemon, so I don't care that I'm lowering my defense and special defense. Probably could have gotten away with using a Mega Horn, but 100% accuracy versus not 100% accuracy. Anyway, that does it. Heracross gets some good experience, and we've defeated Marley. Aw. Aw, indeed. I might like battling with you. Just a little. Only a tiny bit. A little tiny bit. Sure. I won't tell anybody. Anyway, Fantina here uh, was purely coincidental because I was just resetting for Marley, Rourke, and Byron, but Fantina actually is a hint towards what we're mainly going to be focusing on in this episode, which is Pokemon contests. So, yeah. Um, this is the point where I tell you I actually have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to Pokemon contests. Uh, I did want to try to get a third trainer card star in this series, and the contests seem a little easier than either a 100-win streak at the Battle Tower or completing my national decks. But, in order to actually do any of this, I need a Pokemon to enter. First off, let me actually bring Tropius back into my party. Swap out for Porygon. And then one of these Feebas, this one over here, you can see it's got the little star by its name. Well, little star mark. Uh, I gave it that because it's got a quiet nature. The quiet nature likes dry food, doesn't like uh, sweet food. Uh, but I wanted a Feebass specifically that likes dry food, because that's going to be most conducive towards what we're doing next. And as for what we're doing next... Again, this is something that I have very little actual experience with, but we're going to be flying to Heart Home City. And I'm going to try to make some Pawfins. Um... You know, again, as, as far as these contests go, and as far as this particular game goes, uh, I've never, you know, most of the time that I was involved in contests, or most of the time that I tried anything contest-related, was in Gen 3, so I'm not nearly as familiar. Um, oh, Make-A-Wish, okay. Um... That's probably what I've been doing wrong all these years. Anyway, I did not actually get into contests as much in this generation because, well, yeah. It, 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 I, I was willing to try it out for one generation, and, you know, there, 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 there never seemed to be any point to it. Anyway, unlike, well, I guess kind of like in Gen 3, you make Poffins instead of Pokeblocks, uh, but it's a little bit more involved. I'm actually going to take my stylus out right now, because that's going to be helpful. Um, you can see this guy over here said having rare berries is helpful. Um, she gave some advice as far as stirring goes. That person over here mentioned you can cook berries with other people using Wi-Fi. I'm a lonely man sitting in my basement, so I'll be doing this by myself. I'll talk to her. Hello! Here you may cook berries and turn them into poffins. I'm going to cook alone. And the berries that I will actually be using 
Uh, gotta go down quite a ways. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think these are berries that are readily available for most people, but these apicot berries are going to be the ones that I use. Uh, you can see if I check the tag, they are dry and sour. And they're actually pretty dry. And I, they're, they're technically the second highest as far as um, dryness goes, but it's only by one point. Um, now, as far as poffins go, you'll get a level and you'll get a um, smoothness. Uh, but let me actually start stirring. So you want to start stirring in the direction that the arrow... I'm, I am stirring it. You want to start, uh, stir it in the direction that the arrow was pointing. In the beginning, as, as the star said, uh, you, you want to stir it slowly so that it doesn't overflow. But at the end, when it starts to harden, you can spin it faster and faster. Oh, other direction, other direction. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, uh, this is actually... I, I am stirring! Ugh. I probably burned this one about a dozen times already, but oh well. Other direction now, come on. Fast, 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 fast. Hurry, hurry, hurry. When those flames are blue, you can go as fast as you want, and you're never going to overflow it, which is good. And I'm done. So I made a level 30 poffin... And I don't know what that 01 means. Um, but it's a dry, sour poffins. So that's not bad. Um, let me keep cooking poffins. I'm going to make some more of those. Uh, now, as far as the... Um, you know, I really shouldn't be talking about this while I'm trying to actually make a poffin. Because it'll distract me from my stirring. Also... I don't understand why it actually matters which direction you stir it in. In real life, I've done enough cooking to know that it doesn't care if you stir it clockwise or counterclockwise. Either one is fine. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm, I am stirring, you fricocta thing. Alright, other direction now, come on. Let's go. Yes, yes. Uh. All right, other direction. And I think it burned again. Come on, fast, 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 fast. I am going fast. It's just not responding. It's like Windows 95. Oh, that was, uh... You know what? Whatever. I apologize for nothing. <laughs> All right, there we go. Only burned it once. And yet somehow, despite only burning it once... Well, I burned the last one twice. This is a lower level. I think you want the level to be higher. Uh, let's keep doing this. So berries, or, or poffins will also have a firmness, or a smoothness? I think it is smoothness, that corresponds to the berries that are put into it. Uh, so the level will correspond to how much of a boost your Pokemon will get from the poffin. Um... The smoothness corresponds to something else, which is your Pokemon's condition. The Pokemon's condition is the limiting factor for how many Poffins that your Pokemon can eat. So, the less rare berries, like the really common berries, are not very smooth. Whereas the rarer berries are very smooth. So, the, your, your, your condition can only go up to 255. Come on, I'm stirring it. Your condition can only go up to 255, which me and it corresponds exactly to the firm the, the smoothness of your poffin. So when the smoothness of your total the total smoothness of the poffins that you're feeding it exceeds I'm going fast. It reaches or exceeds 255, um, you can't feed it any more poffins. And again, despite only burning it once. I'm getting even lower results than I got with that first one. Maybe burning it a few times is... good? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, that way. 
So keep it slow. I am stirring! Don't you tell me what to do. I know what I'm doing, I think. Actually, no, I'm pretty sure that I said earlier that I don't know what I'm doing. But... Oh well. I can either know what I'm doing or I don't know what I'm doing. There is no in-between. Yeah, this. I, I apologize that this isn't very entertaining unless you actually like watching me react and yelling at things that I'm trying to cook, uh, which does not happen in real life. Um, yes, yes, keep going. And fast, 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 fast. But yeah, you'll get better results, plus you'll be able to use more berries. Oop, other direction now. Uh, if you do this with... Oop, other direction again. Uh, if you do this with more people... Uh, we'll keep going. I'll make a few more. I've got over a hundred of these berries, so... Um, I'm just gonna keep going. Um, but yeah, you, you get better results and you get better poffins if you actually do this with more people and include more berries. I am stirring! Jeez! This thing is very sensitive. Um, yes, yes, stir that way. Uh, but unfortunately, you know, I don't have anybody that I can do this with, and Wi-Fi is not available anyway for this, so I'm, I burned it. You know what, maybe I should burn it a second time, just to see if I'll get level 30 again. Eh. There's some kind of formula that goes into this. I have no idea what it is, though. I mean, honestly, the only thing I did was put a berry in here. Uh, whatever other ingredients go into the poffin are provided by whatever place this is. Uh, well, the poffin house, but I have no idea what's in this batter. I have no idea what's in this dough. Stop changing directions on me! Very annoying, very frustrating. Uh, of course, well, didn't actually mean anything. Oh. All right. I thought, I've, I thought for sure I burned it at least once. Anyway, I'll make a few more. Um, I know, again, this, this isn't particularly entertaining, probably, but I do want to at least have... Hopefully, they'll, I'll have enough poffin. I'm stirring it! Jeez! Stop telling me what to do! Well, actually, that's kind of the point of this little mini thing, but whatever. Um, I do want to make sure that I have enough poffins, and of course you want to feed higher level poffins to your Pokémon first. Uh, oh, other direction now. Slow down a little. I think I overflowed it. Oh well. It was bound to happen at some point. I'm stirring! I... <laughs> It doesn't like when it changes directions. I don't like when it changes directions either. Bah! Nope. Oh, speaking of it changing directions... And I'm literally just scribbling all over the place here. I don't even know if I'm actually going in a circle. Overflowed once. Oh! I did not actually see what poffin that was. But we'll keep going. Sure. Make a few more. Um... I started out with, I think, 115. We'll make... Uh, I don't know. I'll make however many I feel like making. How's that sound? Uh, sounds about right. Anyway. Try not to overflow it again. Although, again, I don't actually know what that... I, I pressed A too quickly, so I don't know if, if, if overflowing did good or if overflowing did bad. But, oh well. Uh, okay, gotta go back the other way. Oop, gotta go the other way now. Come on, come on, come on. This is absolutely ridiculous. I don't know why... Oop, I overflowed it. And, of course, as soon as I was getting in a good clip, and free to rotate as fast as I want... Come on, you gotta stop that. Oh, of course. And we're done. What did I do this time? Overflow twice, level 29. 
Hooray! Alright. Let's make a few more of these. I keep saying after every time I'll say I'll, I, I'll make a few more. A few more has evolved into like five, six, seven more. You know what? Whatever. I'm actually having fun, sort of. I am stirring! It's not my fault you can't translate the motion of the... What's it called? The motion of my stylus onto the touch screen. What happens if I try to... I was going to say what happens if I try to stir in the same direction, even when it changes directions on me, but I'm not going to do that. I am stirring! Ugh. So frustrating. There's a balance that you have to have here, and I just cannot... I, I, I cannot find it. I'm stirring quickly, but it's not actually doing anything! And a... Just as I started getting it to do something. Alright, come on, let's go nuts. No! Let's not do that! Alright, what did I do? I made a mess, but oh well. Hey! Somehow, that actually worked! Alright, I think we'll make, what, two more? Yeah, we'll make two more, so that I'll have made ten. If I need more, I can make more. I'll, I'll stick around the Poffin House while I'm feeding my Feebass. Um, I am stirring, thank you very much. Yeah, surprisingly, the best Poffin that I've had or made so far was that level 30, which burned twice while I was making. Maybe I should try to get it to burn again. Slow down a little bit. So that's one burn. I think that's a second burn. Although I can't actually tell, right? You, I, I, I never can tell if it's an actual burn when it does that, or if it's not a burn. Like, because sometimes I've gotten that animation to pop up and it hasn't actually burned. Alright, what do we got? Okay. Level 31! Fine. I'll take it, and we'll make one more. See if I can get another level 30 plus. Maybe. I'm not holding my breath, though. I'm stirring, I'm stirring, I'm stirring, I'm stirring. Now I'm stirring in the other direction, because I don't know I'm going stir-crazy. And we're going in the other direction now. Hooray! Yes, keep going in that direction. Keep going in that direction. Apparently this Poffin like Well, I was going to say apparently this Poffin likes being stirred counterclockwise, but now it's being stirred clockwise. Now it's counterclockwise again! Hooray! Go, 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 go! And a switch right at the end. Except that this is a 2DS, so no switches for me! Alright, what do we got? Level 31. So, how is it that other times that I've gotten zero burn, zero overflows, I've gotten level 29 or 28? Oh well, it is what it is. So let's actually use some of those poffins. So if we go to the poffin case, we can select that. And you can see we've got a decent number of poffins here. We do have that mild poffin. You can see that the smoothness for these is 39. So I actually probably can use more, but you want to use the higher level ones first. So we'll give this to Feebass, and you can see it says likes it dry. So when I feed it this Poffin, happily ate the Poffin. So any boost that you get from the Poffin is now multiplied by 1.1. Whereas if it didn't like the Poffin, 
or if it didn't like that particular flavor, it would, um, you know, it would eat disdainfully, which would multiply it by 0.9, or it would just eat the paw fin. So I'm hoping that I can feed it enough poffins to literally max out that beauty stat. You can see though, as I feed Feebas poffins, its sheen increases, right? So now it's got three stars. It had one, it started out with none. So I'm, I'm it looks like I can get about 1.5 stars, or I get about 1.5 stars per poffin. I believe you can only get a total of 10 stars? And unfortunately, there's no way of checking just how high the beauty stat is. So let's have it continue to eat the poffin, and you can see it's really jumping up in beauty, uh, but that was my last level 30. You know what? I'll try to make a few more level 30, level 30 plus poffins. I'm dubious of whether or not my level 28 or 29s can do it. Maybe I'm a goof. Maybe I'm overthinking this. I'd rather have too many better. Uh, by the way, the Pam Tree Berry is going to probably be the best for beauty that, that most people will be able to get. Um... Apicot Berry. The Michael Berry is technically slightly better for beauty, but it has a much higher smoothness, and it doesn't actually have that good of a boost, plus it's partially uh, sweet, which, you know, Feebass doesn't actually like. So, you know, I'm sticking with the Apicot Berry. It may be a stupid thing, but, well... I'm not exactly brilliant, at least not at this sort of thing. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Keep going, keep going. Other direction now. Just as I was starting to get somewhere. Come on, quick, 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 quick. This is not going to be a high-level poffin, I can tell. Oh, well. Let's see what I did this time. Oh! He says this isn't going to be a high-level poffin, and he gets a level 31. Fine, let's do this one more time, see what happens. If I can get another level 30+, plus, I will try to max out Feebas's stats with the um, poffins that I have. Don't go too fast. Can't go too fast. I am stirring, thank you very much. And let's go the other way. Why not? Oops, slow down. I, oh, I, I splattered a little. That's not good. Oh well, when you make food, you're gonna get messy. Even if the food's not for you. And go in the other direction. Come on, come on, fast. Come on, come on, fast. Go, 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 oh, of course you did. Hooray, all right, what did I do this time? Level 29. All right, we'll try one more, try to get another level 30 plus, and then I think I'm done with the poffin making. I, I, I've had you guys sit here and watch me make poffins for far too long. It's ridiculous, but oh well. All right, so let's stir. Let's not go too fast. Let's not go too fast. Let's not go too slow, either. Alright, 
this is going... I was about to say this is going very well, and then it changes directions on me. But okay. And it changes directions on me again. Come on, that's fine, that's fine. We're doing okay, everything is fine, everything is dandy. Come on, fast, 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 fast. Uh, 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 I'm not even drawing circles at this point, I'm just scribbling whatever I can scribble on the screen. We <laughs> now other direction. <laughs> Alright, what did I do? How was that? Alright, another level 31. I will refrain from cooking anymore. And let's actually keep on using those poffins. So we'll use this level 31. Actually, what's the smoothness on that? 39, okay. And we'll give that to Phoebus. Very good. Now, I don't know if I can actually maximize its beauty, but I'm sure as heck gonna try. Alright, here's the other. Unfortunately, as far as this goes, there's... <laughs> there's no reset. So either you get it right, or you get it wrong. Which sucks, but that's life. Alright. Yeah, I've still got way, way, way too far to go. And I don't think I've got the poffins for that. Now this mild poffin uh, has a smooth smoothness of 40 and is level 60. I, I don't know if that increases the stat by 60 across the board. Um, I'm tempted. I, I really am tempted. I, I'm pretty sure this is going to max out my sheen. Like, I'm, I'm almost positive this is going to max out my sheen, but the question is, will it actually help with that beauty stat significantly? It'll help with everything, right? So, I guess one other thing is you can see, um, you know, based on which things are lit up, which colors are lit up, which stats will be boosted um, by... Wait, what did I just do? Oh, I see. I see, I see, okay. Um... I was wondering what that did. The question is, can I get in a dry sour and then a mild puff? So each of those has had 39. How many have I fed it? You know what? I'm trying this. I don't know if it'll work, but I can certainly try. You can see it only says that it ate the puffin. And beauty is almost up, and I do have enough for, I think, one more Poffin. I want it to be another level 30 plus, so I'm sorry, I gotta go back to the cooking. We'll do this alone, and... Yeah, because at this point, I, I want to make sure that I get the absolute most out of this. Because again, that sheen that you're seeing, I, I cannot reset that. I cannot undo that. So if I don't get what I want, it's just... I, I'm either going to have to reset or just live with it. Uh, and I am not good with just living with it. So, I am stirring, thank you very much. Now I am stirring in the other direction. Now I'm continuing to stir in that direction. Now I am stirring in this first direction again. I think I've already burned this like three times, but oh well. 
maybe being slightly burned will help its fla its level. Who knows? I don't. All right, back in the first direction, and gotta go fast. Come on. I said, come on. All right, all right, fast, 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 fast. No, 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 no. Not what I wanted to see. All right, what do we got? Burned once, level 29. We'll keep going until I get a level 30 or a level 31. I'm obsessing over this, but you should all know by now that obsessing is exactly what I do about, like, everything. So, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't mean to. It just kind of happens. All right. Come on. I am stirring, thank you very much. Okay. Good, good. Other direction, of course. Continue in that direction. Fine. And dandy. Good. Change directions. Fast, 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 fast. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, what do I got? 36! Whoa! All right, no. Now I'm kind of upset that I didn't get more higher level 30s, but that's my poffin that I'm going to be using. Okay. Will this do what I need it to do? Let's see. I think it did. I think I maxed it out. If not, it's damn close. But you can see if I try to feed it another Poffin. Sheen is maxed out, so it won't eat anymore. Okay. So, we are done making Poffins. You can see we can talk to that lady about the poffins we just made and the Pokemon we feed it to or what have you. But that's all nonsense. I don't need to do that. I am going to fly. And I'm actually going to fly to Veilstone City next. A couple of things that I want to do here in Veilstone. First and foremost, I want to run to the department store, and if I'm remembering correctly, the third floor is the TM's department. Don't run into barriers. I believe it's up here, and I would like to buy a safeguard TM. Uh, so this is not necessarily, this is absolutely not a move that I would purchase on my own for an actual battling team, but all Pokemon moves in this game, and in the previous generation, uh, have both actual in-battle effects and in-contest effects. So, I'm going for a move set on my Feebas, or, well, technically on Feebas's evolved form, that will have the best, well, th that will at least be all beauty moves. Anyway, the next thing that I wanted to do is stop here in the game corner. Not because I'm actually looking to get a TM, but because look at who we found here. Ah, it is you, yes. I have decided to use the opportunity of being here in Sinnoh. I am therefore trying to teach moves to Pokemon that I have captured. Also, if I have nothing to do, it means the world it is at peace. Hack, my streak is broken. So yeah, after that big sad goodbye that he gave us when we were leaving Mount uh, Stark Mountain. Looker can actually be found here for, like, the rest of eternity. And I like to think that because Looker gets so easily distracted here, and because his streak gets broken anytime somebody talks to him, he just got so mad about that, that that's the reason why there are no more game corners, or at least no more slot machines in future Pokemon games. But, 
I know that's actually probably not the truth, and in fact, I know that that's really not the truth. I'm going to stick Feebas in the front, and our next destination is Pastoria City. Uh, I can't teach Feebas Safeguard. I've got to wait until Feebas evolves. Here in Pastoria City, I actually want to stop over here. And this is where I find out if I did good or if I messed up. So this is the Scarf Guy. Alright! And because we've done well with that beauty stat, he gives us the blue scarf. And he says, let a Pokémon hold it to give it an edge in beauty contest. So that will be Feebas's hold item when Feebas is going to be participating in contests. But, let me put Juniper in the front, and I'll actually give Feebas, not the blue scarf, not right now, I actually want to give it the experience share. Uh, assuming that I can find the experience share. Ah, there it is. I could just give it a rare candy, I've got plenty of them, but... Eh, I don't really feel like it. Anyway, we also need to go out to the west of Pastoria City, so, you know, there is time to do some training. And here on Route 212, we're actually going to be going to see the Move Tutor here, because there are a couple of moves that I want to teach to Feebas. And Juniper is just going to be able to KO whatever it is that we find here. If Juniper grows a level, great. I'm just trying to get Feebas to grow a level. Uh, which, easier said than done, but, well, whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. And this will probably take just about as long as making those Poffins dead. Actually, how much experience does Feebas need to grow a level? Okay, that's not too bad. We'll have this done in all of the time. But yeah, oh, good, a Quagsire. That'll speed things up ever so slightly. But yeah, I'm so much higher level, it doesn't really matter what moves that I hit these Pokémon with. They'll faint instantly. Feebas, unfortunately, is kind of like... Well, it, it kind of is a Magikarp clone. So putting it in battle is relatively useless. So, you know, we'll we'll manage it like this as I'm heading towards the uh, what's it called? As I'm heading towards the move tutor anyway, and just run around in the grass because I'm a buffoon and I like running around in the grass. Oh, I never actually caught a Krogunk. Not that I need a Krogunk, but it is a good Pokemon. I was very serious. I think I said I was very seriously considering putting Krogunk on my team. Uh, and only because I wanted to use Heracross as my fighting type did I exclude it. And then I was able to put Rose Raid on as a poison type. Uh, this particular game, this particular Let's Play, I am trying to have. Well, I won't say I'm trying to have a more balanced team, but I'm trying to have a non-monotype team. I know that I'm Bulbagarden Forum's head ad head admin now, and I'm not actually the multimedia... Well, okay, technically I'm still acting multimedia executive uh, until they can find someone to replace me in that job, but moving forward, the idea is that I'll be focusing mostly on the forums. I do still intend to do more Let's Plays after I'm done with this one, and that will continue to be my main contribution to the YouTube channel moving forward. Uh, so I will probably do some monotype challenges. I will do, you know, something a little bit less vanilla as far as Let's Plays go. I But this one being my first Let's Play, Platinum being my favorite game. Now, I kind of wanted to give myself a softball for the first one, and I do think that I came up with a pretty good team for this run anyway. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm having fun. I hope everyone that's watching this is having fun. Uh, but I will try, you know, I'll, I'll try to, to, to do something like a monotype for future Let's Plays, or 
you know, something a little bit more interesting than just coming up with a team completely, you know, with, with, with no limitations whatsoever. Oh, good, a Buizel. Did I remember that Buizel's good? And that's, like, the biggest non-sequitur. But yeah, so that's that. Um, I think we're making some progress. Feebas should level up soon. By the way, so as far as Feebas goes, I'm hoping everyone knows this because it's been how many years since uh, Ruby, Sapphire, Ruby and Sapphire came out, but in this game and in those games, the only way to evolve Feebas is, is, is if it's beauty stat is above or beyond, I believe it's 170. Like I said, there, there's no actual way of, of measuring that, at least not that I'm fully aware of. Um, there's no way of measuring that as far as you know, on the actual stat screen. Um, but, you know, obviously if you've maxed it out, you're fine. You don't even have to come close to maxing it out. I don't think 170 is all that high. Um, maybe maximum is 255 for that also. But this is not an area, like, th this is not my greatest area of expertise when it comes to Pokemon, which I guess is technically another reason why I wanted to try this, is just because... Um, you know, it's it's something I'm not as familiar with, therefore it's going to be something that I learn stuff while doing, that I, that I um, you know, that, that, that that's actually new, interesting, and exciting for me. Uh, well, okay, not new, but it's, and, and not even all necessarily that exciting, but at least it's something that I haven't done a million times before. Uh, so... Yeah, I mean, it's still nice. It's kind of fun. Uh, Feebas should level up fairly soon. Heracross is actually getting pretty close, so that's kind of fun. Um, uh, Shellos. I was not looking for a Shellos. I was looking for a Quagsire. Oh, well. Take that out still. And then I think whatever I find next, I should be able to get the level on Feebas. Yeah. All right. And again, I know that this episode isn't exactly thrilling as far as its content. You know, you watch me make a bunch of poffins, now you're watching me level grind a Feebass. But it is all set up for the next episode when I'll be doing the contests. Um, and, you know, I, I don't know how interesting that's going to be. I've, I, I, I've never... Well, I won't say I've never done, but it has been a long time since I have done one of the contests in this game. So, the question becomes, do I actually try to practice between episodes, or do I just go into it with no practice whatsoever? Anyway, Feebas grew to level 20. But I did want to point out that it, it was specifically the beauty stat that helped it evolve, not growing to level 20, so in that sense, it's not a Magikarp clone. You know, if I'd used a rare candy on it at the beginning before I'd, um... What's it called? Before I'd increased its beauty stat, uh, it would not have evolved. So here is Milotic. And does it want to learn anything? No. So let's actually take a look at Milotic. And Marvel Scale. So it's a good Pokemon. It's got Splash and Tackle, so, you know, that's one of the reasons why I did not want to use it in battle. Again, you can see that maxed out beauty stat. You can see that Splash is cute, Tackle is tough. So neither of those are particularly helpful, but it does go through, um, you know, how many appeal points there are, what its basic effect is. So I'll actually teach it a couple of moves right here and now. So I did get that TM20 safeguard. I do have that Ice Beam TM. I don't want to use it. Uh, wait, I skipped over the, the TM20, didn't I? So here's Safeguard. And I do want to teach Safeguard to a Pokemon. I want to teach it to my Lodic. And the other thing that I want to do is I want to teach Surf. 
If I'm not mistaken, I think Surf and Ice Beam have the same effect. And it just seems to me better to use an HM, which is a non-consumable, to get the same effect as, you know, as, as a, uh, as another move. But I've still only got two beauty-type moves on my Milotic. Right, so you can see if I go over to Milotic now. Safeguard prevents the voltage from going up the same turn. And Surf has plus two points if the Pokemon performs first in the turn. Not great, you know, not exactly high appeal point moves, but, you know, the extra two if I'm going first can be helpful. But there's another reason that we're on Route 212. Uh, no, it is not that trainer tip sign. It is this Move Tutor's house. And I would actually like to learn for my Lodic Dive and Icy Wind. So I was originally going to have Dive and Giga Impact uh, as my move set, but then, well, I thought that I had about 10,000 coins. I actually only had about 5,000 coins, and I did not feel like staying that long in the game corner, so I'm just doing Icy Wind since I was going to be on this particular route anyway. Alright. So we'll get rid of Tackle. And we learned, well, my Lodic learned Icy Wind. So let me actually now go back here. And we're going to find that blue scarf, which is here, and I'm going to give that to my Lodek. Don't need it to hold the experience share anymore. And here we go. This is my Pokemon that I'm looking to compete in contests with. My Lodek level 20 holding the blue scarf. Quiet nature. Moves Dive, Icy Wind, Safeguard, and Surf, but I don't actually care about this particular screen. I care about this screen with the maxed out Sheen, and it, again, it if it's not completely maxed out beauty, it's damn near close. And you can see, uh, Dive earns plus three if no other Pokemon is chosen the same judge. Icy Wind enables the user to perform last in the next turn. Not a great combination with Surf, and Giga Impact would have been a little bit better. Um, you know, Giga Impact's effect was it's also a beauty type move. Um, but its effect was that you'd get plus three if the previous Pokemon maxed out the voltage. But I think that this is a decent move set overall. I think that's probably about as good as I'm going to get. So I'm going to fly back to Heart Home City. Although I could technically cycle all the way back to Heart Home City, I don't feel like it. And, now that we're back in Heart Home City, in the next episode, we're going to be heading into the contest hall and seeing if I can actually do this or if I'm going to make a fool of myself trying. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Please check out our forums and our public Discord server, not to mention our social media channels. Uh, and that's going to do it for this episode. So I will see you all next time.